from? You come from a place of love. You come from a place where you allow other people to drink from your cup. And that's a beautiful place to be. You know, and I feel like right now, present moment, you guys may feel that, that there's there's so many people that want to drink from your cup right now, present moment. You may truly, truly feel that. Because I feel like there's something here about you guys being loved because you are of love. Because that's, that's how you move. That's how you move from the best place in your body, your heart. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see what's going on with my Virgos, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay, all right, my loves. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. I want to see what's going on with my Virgos. I do hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Whenever you watch this video, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Guys, know that I love and I appreciate every last one of you guys, okay? So let's see. Ace of Pentacles. So we'll take that as an extra. You guys have a new opportunity here. Some of you guys, you have money coming in. This may be a new project that you're working on. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. You know, there's something here with all these pentacles. You know, this is, this is a new opportunity, a new opportunity of making money, some type of way of making money. You know, this could be a new investment that you guys are investing in as well. But this is also new. This is, this is brand new potential here, the potential of making money. The potential of money coming in. It's a drawing in. I feel like right now, present moment, you guys are drawing in opportunities here. This could be through new new assignments, new new projects, new money, you know, new endeavors here. I'm getting a dabbling energy. I'm definitely getting a dabbling energy here that's coming out. So then we have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles talks about truly kind of the more, the more you dabble in something, the more wealth you get the more you practice the more perfection you get like you know what i'm saying like it's like the more you have the potential here of making so much more advancements this could be advancements within your career this is advancements within your business itself but there are some advancements even with with education some of you guys you may be on a job right now present moment and you have room to grow there's room to grow the more you learn, the more you study, the more you challenge yourself, there is room to grow here. Because with that Three of Pentacles, it talks about collabing. You know, it talks about working with certain people. It also talks about kind of getting, like kind of digging into the subject, the subject at hand. So this is like some of you guys kind of going down a rabbit hole of kind of digging in. Digging in so you can learn, so you can make something a career so you can make something make something work make something shake like that type of energy is coming through here we also have this eight of pentacles i see you guys sitting down here truly mastering this something this has to do with your career this has to do with endeavors here you know it has to do with your stability and your foundation you guys are focused you guys are focused and if not i feel like 
spirit is is calling someone here to to work with someone else like if you're not if you're not quite sure how to do something there's different avenues of learning how to do something very specific or you're not sure how do i make something how do i perfect something how do i make something better you know how do i you know th that's kind of the energy like you know if you're taking on a new project and you don't you you know what you 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 can visualize and you know what it is that that you want to make this project to be but you may need the assistance of somebody else you may need to study a little bit more you know you may you may need to watch some videos or however this goes or read a book or however this goes so you can actually master it so you can actually make it work and make it work more efficiently you know and this is for you to work more efficiently i feel like that's where you guys are going and why this is, is because you want to be able to bring, bring in more money, more stability. You know, this is trying to make an opportunity that is given to you, trying to make this opportunity work for you, but doing your part, because the only way this opportunity is going to work is that you have to do your part. And in doing that part, some of you guys, you're realizing that you have to actually collab with other people. You have to actually work with other people. You have to actually be a part of a team. There's something here in this energy about you being a part of a team or you be you working with someone else and it makes it work. It works better. It flows better. It also makes things easier for you. And at the end of the day, it brings forth more, more wealth, more abundance, more security and more stability. Such a beautiful energy. Such a beautiful energy here that's coming through. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. For my Virgos. So we have this Knight of Wands energy. That Knight of Wands energy came out in the resistance. We also have that Seven of Wands here. So I feel like you're having to. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this is this is giving me this is giving me a behavior or a pattern. Um, this is giving me a person as well. You know, I feel like there's a back and forth energy that's coming through here, but this is something that that is being let go of. Like so, if if you've been dealing with someone here. That has been very kind of back and forth indecisive in your life or not, not giving you, not giving you the structure that you need, the discipline that you need, the protection that you need, because that's kind of the energy that comes through with this Knight of Wands that comes out in the resistance. The Knight of Wands that's in the resistance is somebody that's more of a playboy, playgirl. That's kind of that energy. So some of you guys, you may be letting go of this person. Some of you guys, you yourself, you may be letting go of that pattern and or that behavior. You could, you just might be, you know, because you also got this seven of wands and the resistance. And this is telling me like not wanting to fight for this anymore. Now, you know, this could be, this could also be within something that you were passionate about, you know, a situation that you were passionate about, a person that you were passionate about. And, you know, it just, it's not paying off for you. It hasn't paid off for you. And while at one point in time you defended, you defended your purpose, your call, like you, you defended it, you made excuses and you defended it. You're not really truly making excuses, but it's one of those things. Yes. Some of you guys, you may have made excuses for someone here. And now it's like, mm, you know, now, now, now the writing's on the wall. You know, whatever this is, whatever this is, because with that seven of wands and the knight of wands, this is wands energy. So this is about something that this has to do with the passion. You know, it has to do with your ego, you know, whether it's your ego, somebody else's, somebody else's ego, you know, if this is your passion or somebody else's passion, you know, this is telling me like, you know, some of you guys, you once, you were once devoting, devoting your time and your energy to make somebody else's stuff better, to make somebody else's life better. That's such a strong energy here. And even is of course you you played a role in it. You did play a role in 
making somebody else's life better, making somebody else's life easier. For some of you guys, this, this could be within your job, within your career itself, because that Knight of Wands is, is, a, is, a, is a wild card. It's a wild card energy, you know, but I feel like if this is you, I feel like there you're, this is realizing, this is knowing that you have changed. You're not this person anymore because what I'm seeing here in this energy is that you're letting go of that energy. So whether it be a pattern behavior within yourself where you were doing something to make somebody else's life better, make somebody else's life easier, doing something that you couldn't truly devote yourself to because you know the thing about it is I feel like there's an energy here of like one foot in, one foot out, but there's a consistency in that one foot in, one foot out. And I feel like there's an energy here of like you kind of letting that go. And this could just be a person where you're just letting that go. Once you guard it and you protected it, some of you guys, this could be a job. You know, some of you guys, this could definitely be a career path. This could be a relationship here. You know, our situationship for some of you guys, because that's coming out in that wand energy, more of a situationship. There's a situation here. And I feel like it's like you spent a lot of time and energy kind of defending and kind of protecting it. You know, even with the writing on the wall, I feel like, yes, yeah, some of you guys, you may have made, you may have spent some time. I'm getting years kind of making excuses. Someone making excuses here, but again, I'm seeing where you're not fighting for this anymore. You're letting this go. You're not defending it. You're not pretending that you don't see the writing on the wall. Whatever this is for you, you're not, the, you're not, you're not pretending anymore that everything's okay and it's not. I feel like you guys are redirecting your energy. You're redirecting your focus. Your stamina is what I just heard. You're redirecting that. I do see where you guys are redirecting that. Yeah, let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. What's influencing this energy? The emperor, Aries energy. I feel like it's because you want to be the, the authority figure of your own life. Aries energy. I feel like you guys, there's an, I feel like in this emperor energy, I feel like there's a, there's a rise A rise in status, but a rise in the the word came in and it, came, it, it as soon as it came in, it went straight on out the door. Four of Wands. I feel like there's a rise in ranking. I feel like you want to rise in ranking. So whatever this is, I do. I feel like I feel like you want a rise in ranking here. Four of Wands. You know, this is showing me like. Four, four of Wands talks about your stability and your foundation. It talks about your security. There's a lot of Wands energy that I keep seeing here. And I feel like this is about you guys, your willpower. I feel like it's about what you guys are trying to create. You know, it talks about your strength as well. You know, it talks about your ego as well. But you're embodying the ego of an emperor here. You know, you, you're a boss. You're an authority figure. People look up to you. You know, people look up to you. And the thing about it is, I feel like because you are Virgo, having to, that's embodying this Aries energy, you know, that's embodying this boss energy, you know, and I feel like there you, you guys are going through moments in time right now, present moment, because I just visualize it like you guys going through moments in time right now. And it's, it's, it's calming the storm that's within you. Because you're a Virgo, whereas you want to go in hermit mode, but you're a boss. So it's like you're having to cipher through certain energies here. That's what I'm getting in this energy. Like you're having to cipher through energies right now, present moment. You know, and you're also having to wear different hats here because with that emperor here, you can't, you can't hide away from your responsibilities and your duties. You can't run away from the light that you're meant to shine or, 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 or the responsibilities. I just keep getting your, your responsibilities and your duties and your purpose because I'm getting somebody here. You have risen like there's a strong rise, a rise in ranking here and you have truly, truly risen here. You know, some of you guys right now, present moment, what I'm seeing here is that you were dealing with somebody here that 
you made this person change or you're making this person change. You're taking reins. You're taking control of this relationship. You're taking control that there's a relationship here. You know, this could be with a family member. You know, this could be with a father figure. You know, this could even be with a boss, somebody here that you work with and this person could feel like family or this person could be family. You know, but I feel like right now, present moment, it's like, uh, uh we're not doing this anymore. So if you're dealing with somebody right now, present moment, I'm getting a very masculine energy that's coming through. If you're dealing with this person right now, present moment, I feel like some of you guys is in business. Some of you guys, it may just be in relationships here. But right now, present moment, what I'm getting here in this energy is that you're taking control. You're, t you're in charge here. Like, you know, I feel like you're taking reins of the situation here. Because there's something here about the way things were, it was not working. And you had to step up and you have to step in. You know, whereas once before you may have sat quietly and kind of just watched. I feel like this is you guys actually being really and truly, you're in this, this mindset of, I can't lose control. Give me a sec. I feel like you guys are in this mindset right now, present moment. Yes, I can't lose control. No, I don't see, I don't see that. And that, you know, I feel like there's a transformation here. There's a, there's a dying off of the old way of handling things and transforming it, transforming it. But I'm also, I just got transmuting as well. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. The magician wanted to come out. Knight of Cups. That magician wanted to show its face. Gemini, Virgo energy. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You know, I ask what your strength is, two of wands. Your strength is the fact that you care. Your strength is the fact that you, that you give a damn. Your strength is the fact that you, when you pursue something, when you do something, but that's your strength. Like when you truly do something, you do it from the best place, the best place in your, in your, in your, so, your, your heart. You do it from the bottom of your heart when you do something. Yeah, you're very talented. Yeah, you're very skilled. Yeah, you know, you're magic with that magician energy. Yeah, you have strong willpower. You have such strong willpower. But the thing about it is when you do something, you do it from the best place ever. You do it from your heart. And the thing about it is this is, I don't want to say that it's not a negative bone in your body, but I'm getting this energy here right now, present moment where you, you haven't lost, you haven't truly, truly lost direction. You haven't truly, truly made final decisions here because with that two of wands here, what I'm seeing in this energy is that the two of wands is thinking. The two of wands does not just act. You know, that, that card is not for just acting. That card is for thinking, like, you know, kind of pondering, thinking, you know, what's the best course of action, you know? And the thing about it is when you make your decisions, you think about the bigger picture. You think about everybody. It's not just about you. You're not, there's not, you're not giving off a selfish energy. You're not giving off a selfish energy here. You could give off a selfish energy. You're embodying the emperor and the magician. The thing you could. But the thing, the thing about it is that it's not who you are. Because I see an energy here of where, where you come from, you come from a place of love. You come from a place where you allow other people to drink from your cup. And that's a beautiful place to be. You know, and I feel like right now, present moment, you guys may feel that, that there's, there's so many people that want to drink from your cup right now, present moment. You may truly, truly feel that. Because I feel like there's something here about you guys being loved because you are of love. Because that's, that's how you move. That's how you move from the best place in your body, your heart. 
You're very caring and you're very loving. I also just got you very supportive. Very, very supportive. My nose is itching. Somebody wants to kiss me. <laughs> you're very, very, very supportive. You are a goat. The thing about it is with that magician and that emperor, that's a, that's a big ranking. That's a very divine individual. That's a very intuitive individual. That's a very skilled and a very talented individual. You know, this is telling me you guys are not lacking in resources. You're not lacking in skills. You're not lacking in talent. You're not. This is what I'm seeing here in this energy. You're not lacking. And some of you guys, what I'm seeing here is that you're, there's, it's not the, it's like you're on top of the food chain here is what I'm getting in this energy. You may have risen to the top of the food chain here. And it's, it's like, there's, there's a line of people here. So I'm, I'm getting such an energy here of like some of you guys, you may have like a line and it doesn't have to be such a long line, but you know what I'm saying? There's a line of people here that look up to you, you know, that depend on you. And whatever that it, whatever that means for you, whether it be personally and or professionally, whatever that means for you. But I also see that the way that you think, and that that's the thing, that's why there's so much love around you, because the way that you think, you don't just, you're not selfish about it, you know? And I feel like it's like, you don't, you, it's, it's no man left behind is what I'm getting in this energy. There's something about you where there's like no man that that's left behind somebody here. You could definitely come from a military background. Somebody here, you could actually be in healthcare or you can actually be in the legal field because there's, a, there's an energy here of no man left behind. Yeah. I'm also getting somebody here. You could actually be a celebrity. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. For my Virgos. The High Priestess. Eight of Swords. Hmm. You guys have a, you know, you have a hard time. You have a hard time not sometimes telling people what it is that you're doing or what it is that you have. And that sometimes may come back and bite you. That sometimes may truly, truly come back and bite you. I feel like some of you guys, there's a, because I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at what's kind of like hovering, what's kind of like hovering over you. You know, this is showing me that you, you oftentimes question your judgment you oftentimes question your, the path that you're on right now, present moment. You question your intuitions. You know, this is telling me like, you know, you, sometimes you turn a blind eye to certain things because you don't want to know. You know your intuitions tell you, but you're ignoring it. Sometimes you ignore your intuitions and you obsess over it. You do it to yourself. <laughs> you do it to yourself. Because I see you doing it to yourself. Because you ignore your intuitions. You second guess yourself, your judgment, constantly, constantly. And then you wonder why. And then you wonder why. I feel like I'm talking to a Virgo here where you... You are surrounded by love, but you question it. You question people's loyalty. You question why certain people do what they do. You question if it's real, if it's fake. I'm dealing with a Virgo here that has some serious abandonment and trust issues. Because I see, I see the spinning wheel here. I see the spinning wheel here. I also see, I'm, I'm also talking to a Virgo here that you, you also question if it's, if it's ego or if it's intuitions. And I feel like that's why I'm dealing with a Virgo here. That's why sometimes you ignore, you ignore your intuitions.
you know, some of you guys, you enter into, you enter into certain things, certain projects, because I'm, it's, that's what I'm seeing. It's like you enter into certain projects, you enter into certain situations, you enter into certain positions here. And then, then you kind of get stuck in it. Like there's something about how your mind races in, in, in whatever this is. It's like you go down this rabbit hole. Like I feel like I'm, I'm talking to a Virgo here. Like you go down the rabbit hole a lot of things that you don't know, but things that you're trying to figure out. And some of you guys, it even has to do with your spirituality. Because I see this Pisces energy that's coming through here. And it's like going down a rabbit hole, trying to, trying to figure out a deeper meaning, a deeper calling, a deeper purpose. Like I'm seeing a Virgo here, like that really truly kind of goes down the rabbit hole instead of actually trusting your own intuitions and your own guides here. Because again, you're embodying the energy of the high priestess here. The high priestess is very intuitive. But right now, present moment, what I'm seeing here is that you're second guessing your intuitions. The high priestess also is very like full of knowledge, but a, a, a true knowledge seeker. Like I feel like this is like you guys kind of being a truth seeker here. But I also feel like even if the truth stood in, right in front of you, you still wouldn't even recognize the truth. Like you're embodying that energy right now, present moment. I feel like some of you guys right now, present moment, you may be in a relationship here with somebody here and the truth is right in front of you, but it's not even acknowledging the truth. But do you know the thing about it is the truth is not what you think it to be. That's why you struggle. That's why you struggle because what you see, you see something, you hear something. And it's so different from what you think it to be. It's so different from what you think it to be. We always get back to your beliefs. You, we always get back to your beliefs. And you know, the thing about it is that 10 of cups to the temperance is telling me that you are divinely protected. Queen of Cups. It is safe. It is safe for you to love. And I want you to put in the comments, I believe. Because Spirit is wanting you to know that it is safe for you to love. Because what I'm seeing here, because I told you guys, you come from a, the best place ever. When you do something, when you say something, there's something here about you come from the best place ever, your heart. Because then we go to the queen of cups. It is safe for you to love. You are divinely protected. You, you need patience for something to, something to unfold, something to work out. Some of you guys, you need to be patient with someone here. You may be in a relationship here and feeling like, Feeling like you're stuck. Feeling like you're a prisoner. Feeling like, you know, you may be in a relationship here where, again, you can't let your guard down. You can't lose control. You may feel like you have no backup. You may be in a relationship or a situation here where you may feel like you have no backup, but that is not true. What it is, is that spirit has gifted you, that the Lord has gifted you with so much that you may surround yourself with certain people that have flaws. We all have flaws, but you're a little top notch. <laughs> there, there's a top notch energy that's coming through here. Like you're meant for something greater. That's why the good Lord kind of gifted you with your talents, your skills, and your gifts. And that willpower, that's why you have that because 
You're meant to carry that torch. You're meant to carry that, but you're also meant to carry others as well. Somebody here, you need to hear this because I see where you feel you feel like it's a punishment or a burden rather than a blessing or a responsibility that has been submitted unto you. Yes, I know you have a lot of responsibilities and a lot going on, but you can handle it because the good Lord has given you that gift, the talents and the skills to be able, the fortitude to be able to do so. Not everybody can carry this weight. Not everybody can carry this weight. But spirit is, te- spirit is protecting you along this journey. You have to be patient. You have to be patient here. Also, it's, let your intuitions guide you. The thing about it is, yes, your intuitions may send you sometimes down this rabbit hole. Because I see this. And sometimes your feelings may get hurt. Sometimes you may get bruises, bumps and bruises. But this is a part of the journey. It's, it's, it's like climbing, climbing a mountain, climbing a very steep hill. You may tumble over, you may fall, you may lose control. But I see, I see you still, even when you get to the top, when you, when you, when you actually how how fulfilling it is for you and i'm seeing someone here it's like when you're when you get through it when you get to the other side of it even though you may have gone through so much how fulfilling is it for you because it's a very fulfilling energy that comes through i feel like there's a very fulfilling energy that comes through Hmm. all right All right, my loves, let's see. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. We have the five of wands, nine of swords. So, (laughs) so (laughs) you're not, we get back to who you are. We get back to who you are with that five of wands. There's a lot of wands energy that's coming through here. But what I'm seeing here with that five of wands that's coming out in the resistance here is that you're not meant to compete. Um, I feel like four of cups, nine of swords to the four of cups. Nine of swords is showing me There's some restless energy. Um, Four of Cups is showing me there's energy here of. I'm I'm not sure I want to. Accept a helping hand, however this goes, you know, this is telling me like you are trying to make things work. Without a team are trying to give it's like you're trying to give so little it's like delegating it's like you're trying to it's like you're not delegating to the, to the best to the best because some of you guys you're holding your stuff very close to close close knit like I got it I got it. Um, That's what I'm seeing. It's like, I got it. I got it. But then you're mad because you got it all. (laughs) 
Like there's an energy here of like, I got it. I got it. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to stress them out. They got too much to do. You got too much to do. Um, you're stressed out. <laughs> and I see the energy here with that nine of swords and that, that five of wands here is that some of you guys, you may not you like, you know, you're, you're, you're keeping all your work to yourself. You're keeping all the responsibilities to yourself. Like you're, you feel, why do I feel like some of you guys, it's like you feel alone in a world where you're filled with people. You feel alone in an environment where you're surrounded by people. And I feel like you take on so much because some of you guys, you may have trust and abandonment issues. I keep seeing that. You feel like it's safer. You feel like it's safer here for you to take it all on. But I also feel like while there's certain things here that yes, the good Lord has gifted you with because, and, and there's a torch here that you're carrying. The good Lord has also put people in your life to handle the small stuff. You're meant to handle the big stuff because you've, you've been gifted with the big blessing. Yeah, you have, you've been gifted with the big blessings. You, you've been gifted with, with, with looks, talents, skills, successes. You know, you, you you're a winner. See, that's your blessing. But everybody has a role to play. There's significance in everything. And all of that minutia, all of the small stuff that piles up one more thing for you to have to handle. The good Lord has given you certain people in your life for you to delegate that small stuff to. Now you apply that wherever you see fit. Because some of you guys, it is going to be personally and some of you guys, it's going to be professionally. Yeah. I see people that offer to help you to take on something. I see it. And you're like, I'm going to think about it. No, I got it. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure about you. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that you have time. I'm not sure that you can handle this. But then at the same time, I watched something the other day. Oh, no, I didn't watch something. Somebody said this story to me. Probably about three, four days ago. And he was talking. He was he was giving me a phrase and he was saying how. This guy kept praying to God. Okay, so he was in the middle of an ocean. I know, I know I'm probably jacking the story all up, but he was in the middle of the ocean and he kept waiting for help. He kept praying to the good Lord for help, for help, for help. So then there's a ship that comes in and the guy offers to take him aboard. And he's like, no. And the guy's still floating in the floating in the ocean. He's still floating. And so there's a boat that comes, a ship that comes and the guy offers to take him on board. He's like, no. I pray to the good Lord. I'm, the good Lord's going to send me help. The good Lord's going to help me. Okay. The ship goes away. Again, there's another one. Another boat comes. And the guy's like, come, I'm going to pull you up. He's like, no. I pray to the good Lord. The good Lord's going to help me. And I know I'm saying this story halfway of however it goes. So then this people, they just go off. They're like, this dude is an idiot, you know? <laughs> and then again, another ship comes. And the guy sends that ship off as well. And then the guy drowns. He gets up to heaven and he asks God, like, God, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you save me? And God's like, I sent you three boats, three ships. How much help do you want? Like, like I'm like, okay. And why the guy's telling me the story? I'm like, well, duh. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like well, duh. And, you know, 
that's the thing. That's kind of the energy of what I'm getting right now, present moment. Just like this guy telling me this story out of nowhere, somebody here was meant to hear that story. And I keep blowing because that incense is like going straight into my nose. <laughs> um, somebody here today is meant, was meant to hear that story. Because I do see where help is offered, but you feel like it's going to be more grief for you. But that's a negative thought pattern. That's a negative thought. Because when we go from the, when we have the four of cups, we go to the five of cups where it's, it's like feeling like you're, you're losing. It's, it's going to be a grief or like, I'm not going to let them in. I'm not going to let them help me because they're going to, I'm something bad's going to happen. It's like, you're waiting for the next shoe to drop. Are you expecting negativity? You're expecting something bad to happen. You're expecting something to not work out. That's a mindset. That's not, that's a mindset. But then you, you stay up all night thinking about all the shit you got to do. You stay up all night. You work all these long hours when there's certain things that you can pass along. You know, you may be a part of a team here. Some of you guys spirit is calling you to be, to be a part of the team that you are, you've been assigned to, to delegate the work to people that that's their job to help you. Even in your personal life, you don't have to take on all the responsibilities and or all the duties. You don't have to. I see where there's help here. Even if it has to do with something so simple as chores. Do you have to do all the chores in the house? Is there any little, little, like I got a little Tanya. <laughs> I got a little Tanya in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like the same people that you help, they can help you so you can help them more without stressing so much. This message is meant for somebody. Somebody has to hear this message because I see it. It's like, it's so clear. It is like so clear. Hmm. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Four of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Again, I'm, I'm seeing the same thing. You fear losing. <laughs> like, you, you, you know, you, you, you fear losing money. You fear losing control. <laughs> you fear it you fear losing control you fear losing money you hope that you can hold on to the stability that you found you hope that you can hold on to the stability that you found you hope that you're making the right decisions and the right choices i feel like there's confusion around those decisions and those choices i feel like there is some confusion here around those decisions and those choices Seven of Swords. You see, that's the thing. You see, you see, you see how fucked up you are. <laughs> I love you though. <laughs> like being, you know, the thing about it is sometimes you may find yourself being manipulative and sneaky your damn self. <laughs> you know, you be so worried about other people being out to get you or other people doing certain things or other people doing this and doing that. You, you find yourself doing the same shit. <laughs> are doing it when you don't even mean to do it because you start to feel some type of way because you start to feel some type of way all right there's a you work yourself up into a frenzy that like you work yourself up into a frenzy and it's a mind thing I got to get away from you before you do this, this, and this. I, I, I can't accept this helping hand from you. You're a runner. You run away from, you run away from, from people. You do. You run away from 
truly connecting. Like truly, truly connecting. You're a good person. The thing about it is, like I told you, you 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 move with the best thing that you got, and that's your heart. You're a good person, but you're a runner. Yeah, you are. You're a good person, but you're a runner. Hmm. All right. Spirit is like, let's get it. <laughs> Spirit is like, let's get it. <laughs> Spirit is starting this this Saturday morning off. Like, let's get it. <laughs> Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. The Seven of Pentacles. You got a lot of work to do. You've planted a lot of seeds, Ten of Swords. You got a lot of work to do. You've planted a lot of seeds here. You got a lot of harvest. You guys, some of you guys, you know, you got a lot going on. Like... You got projects, you got businesses, you know, you got a lot of tasks here. You're invested, you're, you're, you're invested here. You work hard. You work hard. Because of the life that you're wanting to live. You have, again, a string of people that rely and depend on you. You do. That, that in itself requires you to work harder than most. That in itself requires that you work harder than most. Yeah. Eight of cups. It makes it a little bit hard for you to get close to certain people, to connect, to truly connect. You're still trying to figure yourself out. You're still trying to figure out the right path to walk on. Like you're still trying to figure that out. People may think that you got it all together, but you're wandering. You're a wander. You're wandering just like the rest of us. Hmm. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. For my Virgos. The fool. Aries energy. Queen of Swords. You're you're constantly dealing with karma. You're constantly dealing with karma. You're constantly questioning what's what's real and what's not real. You're constantly I feel like I don't want to say there's a there's an immature energy or a foolish energy, but instantly what I got, and I know that I don't really talk a lot about astrology here, but instantly what I got is I'm dealing with a Virgo here where your degrees in Virgo is a very low number. I'm dealing with a Virgo here. Yes. Um, because you're always searching for new. You're always searching for new. You're always searching for a new beginning or you're always having to have a freaking new beginning. That's an issue. Like for some, for some reason, it's like that is, that is giving me an issue right now, present moment. 
and you're constantly reliving a karmic cycle. Like, there's always another shoe here that drops. Such an energy. Such an energy. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Don't let pride get in your way, Leo energy. Don't let pride get in your way. Spirit is telling you don't let pride get in your way. Because I told you guys there's something here about the ego versus the intuitions as well. If you need a helping hand, say it, accept it. <laughs> like because I see the I see the energy that's surrounding you right now, present moment. Whether this is personally and or professionally, don't let pride get in your way. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.